Hello and welcome. It's been a while since I popped up here. I am with Charity today. You all used to see us together on TV and now we decided to jump back on together because I was talking to Charity just the other day about how a barrier for a lot of you as clients is when you go to get a loan, there's nothing, there's no collateral to put up against it. So often a bank wants to take, you know, something that you own as collateral. And if you don't own your home, if you don't own your car, if there's no machinery involved that the bank can mm -hmm. take back, then there's not really much that they can do to give you this loan because there's no um, like uh, way for the bank to, to recoup that money from them. Right. So as I was talking to Charity, she mentioned that you know, she works for Granite Ridge Builders now and that they are doing this 502 loan. And I wanted her to explain it more so that I didn't botch it up for you. So you would never botch anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and it is ironic. I, cause I hadn't even actually mentioned this to you. So my husband and, and I, because I guess I'm just part of that deal, um, <laughs> are in the process of buying his business, the place he's worked for 30 plus years. And they, in fact, as part of the the SBA loan had to put a lien on our home. Yes, and that's normal. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. had they not, had we not owned our home, he would not have been able to purchase uh, his business. Mm -hmm. So we do this great program here at Granite Ridge Builders, and it's actually a USDA 502 loan. Um, it's been around since the 1940s. I wish I had known about it when I bought my first home because I, know. I, I had no idea. Um, I didn't have 20% to put down. And I think that's a real barrier to a Absolutely. lot of people when they're buying a home. It's not just for first time home buyers though. It could be for anyone. Um, it could be for a lot of retired people, people who are retiring who are gonna be on a fixed income yeah. use this loan. So it's a zero money down. It's a lower interest rate. Right now, the interest rate on this loan is 3.25%, but they will oh. subsidize it to as low as 1%. Um, basically, what happened was in the night, in the 40s, they were, people were moving from the suburbs into the cities. Ironic, right? Because now people want yeah. to move from the city into the suburbs. So they kind of drew a circle around bigger cities, Fort Wayne being uh, included, and said, if you'll live outside of this circle, we're going to give you this great loan. Uh, and it still exists today. So we build homes um, all the time in, mm -hmm. with this. We do about 125 of these a year. My owner feels kind of like this is our mission work um, mm -hmm. because it is, listen, it's dealing with the government. So right. it's, it's red, paperwork, red tape. Um, so there aren't many, there aren't other builders that will do this, but we, we do, we feel like that's and that is what I think is amazing is that it is a builder. So you can use this loan when you're buying another house, but oftentimes when you are buying a pre-existing house, you don't really know what you're getting into. Yeah. And the government actually put some stipulations. So, um, the kind of inspection, like the things that has to pass for inspection are high. So it's, it's virtually impossible to do. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying it, it's really hard to do this with an existing home because of those additional inspections it would have to. And then there's also a fee that the um, seller has to pay when you're using this. So you would oh, have to get mm -hmm. the person, sell, if you were selling your home and the person was using this um, loan, you would have to pay some fees. And so it's, it's hard to get someone to <laughs> the pay seller those. To, yeah. Yes. Um, but we, we do these all the time. You can use it on a spec home that we've already built or you could use it on a build from the ground up. The home has a value. We can't build one that's more than $336,500 um, in this program. And then the household income has a cap. So the household income has to be $63,300 or less for Allen County, um, for a family of up to four, but a family of up to five that jumps to $83,300. So I'm happy to talk to anybody about this program. And maybe it's not for you, but maybe you're thinking, oh my gosh, my daughter um, just got a divorce. You know, she's now right. a single mom with two kids and needs to get in a home. She's paying, maybe it's my, you know, college graduate kid is paying $1,400 in rent. Probably I can get them in a house and, you know, they can right. be in a house and not be throwing away that money for rent. That's a thing I hate to see people do. I know. And really, I think about, I mean, I'll just share. My home payment is so low. It's well under $1,000. Mm -hmm. So you think... 
you know, for a lot of you who are renting, you're paying a thousand dollars or more. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to have a brand new home and have a 1%, I mean, I, yeah, right. That's amazing. So I, there's a kid I know, 20 years old, he's building a house with me right now because his parents were moving. And so he needed to have some place to live and he started looking for some place to rent and his, the cheapest he could find was $1,200. So his mortgage all in P P I T I. So insurance taxes, everything 1172 a month with this program. So, oh, so he has a brand new home. He's going to get all the equity of that mm -hmm. when he goes to sell it. But then also, like I was saying, the, I was really interested in this for all of you because of the fact that loans are just so hard to get yeah. from a traditional bank, especially when you don't have that collateral. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, yes. Charity, for sharing that. And then since we're on here, do you want to share anything about like the homes? Like what's your... Like my favorite thing. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this seems fun. We should talk about the houses. Yeah. Uh, you know what? As a as not to be stereotypical, but um, when I when I got a divorce, I'm, I'm not divorced now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew her first husband. <laughs> I changed jobs and kind of went off TV a little bit, and so people may think, oh, oh right, she, you know, no, no, I'm not. Uh, but when I, when I did get divorced, whatever it was, 18 years ago, um. I moved into a home and all of a sudden I, it was an existing home and you know, there were things that needed fixed or yes. things that, and I, that's not my thing. Like I didn't know how to do that stuff. So I think the thing I like best about these new homes is that it's all new. I know. Like you don't have to do that stuff. It, mm -hmm. it everything comes with a warranty. And so there are not that things that you, you know, I don't have to worry about a furnace breaking or a, right. a hot water heater or speaking of which. The standard that we include now with our homes is a tankless water heater. Oh. So you are not paying to heat, have that water heated up all the time just sitting there in that tank. Oh, so, I think my mom has that. that they're really cool. Uh, yeah. The, the funniest part to me is anything that we, like, change here, and I tell my father-in-law about it, he researches it, and then he goes and buys one and puts it in his house. <laughs> so my in-laws now have a tankless water heater. <laughs> we no might be lie. as cool as our parents. <laughs> no lie. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I think, I think that's what I, I like the best. And yes, I do come to work every day and think about what I'm going to put in my house that yes. we're going to build. Probably I'm going to, I'm yeah. going to do a little fun tour of this just because we're in here, but you can see all, all the, the mm -hmm. all the tiles yeah. and you have fabrics and there's color swatches and yeah. So mm -hmm. you should just pop in yeah. here. See, call me, see what call me. I'll like. take you for a tour anytime, anytime. <laughs> but, and I can get you that application for the yes. Bio tool on too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. thank you again so mm -hmm. much and I hope that this helps any of you who are looking or thinking about um, needing a loan just for your business that this is an option for you <laughs> and a good a new house <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you so much and have a wonderful day thanks Charity. Uh -huh.